Absolutely. Jason Whitlock is a writer with Outkick.com, and he joins us tonight. Jason Whitlock, thanks so much for coming on. What can we learn from this? It feels like there are lessons embedded in this story, and it's not the only one like it. Tugger, this really blows my mind, but where we've gone in this country is that there is a business built around racial grievance. And that business is booming at such a level that white people are like, hey, I'm going to adopt a whole new identity so I can benefit from being baby Al Sharpton, baby Jesse Jackson. And in academia, it's the, this is being embraced and she's been able to pull off this scam. But it's not just her. This isn't just an anecdote. We've had it with Rachel Dolezal. We've had it with uh, the Sean King guy on Twitter who is white who has pretended to be black, who has lied and, and said that, oh, my mother slept with a black man and she didn't tell anybody about it. All of these people moving into the race bait industry and business, yeah. and it must be very profitable and lucrative because everybody wants to be down with the calls. And y'all know that Jessica Krug is just keeping it real, you know, yo. <laughs> but so that that's the thing. That's what stru that's what struck me so forcefully. Here's an academic with advanced degrees who, when she wants to sound African-American, doesn't sound like Langston Hughes. She sounds like someone who's illiterate. So what does that tell you that she thinks about black people? It's so patronizing. It, Tucker, I keep trying to explain it over and over and over again. And people think I'm crazy. The branding has been so strong that if you put on this label of being a liberal, there's virtually nothing you can do negative against black people that will be seen as negative. White liberals, I'm sorry, they're the actual bigots. Yeah. And I know that that's going to blow a lot of people's minds. But liberalism, to me, is now the new KKK hood. The bigots used to hide under hoods. Now they hide under the label of being a liberal and a progressive. And that allows you to be as bigoted as you want to be. If you want to call yourself an anti-fascist and support Black Lives Matter as a white person, that means you can go out into the street, tear down neighborhoods, harass people, say all kinds of disrespectful stuff to white and black people. And it's all good because allegedly you're fighting racism. Allegedly, you're on the side of black people. And actually, if you evaluate their actions and their mindset, they actually can't stand black people, have no respect for black people, think very little of black people and certainly aren't working towards our benefit. The, the world is just upside down. We, it's a big lie and a scam. And people are I call it like people, white people, white liberals are going out on a black person's credit card and making up a bunch of charges, charging up a bunch of things that we have to pay the bill for. Hey everybody, this is Charlie Kirk, founder and CEO of Turning Point USA. If you liked this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Turning Point USA.